Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Antor. My name is Adnan Rafiq, and then uh, this is a continued uh, series of Azure Sentinel. So if you're interested, uh, do subscribe my channel, share the video, and I have already posted before this video a couple of more videos in the past. Go back, take a look, understand the high-level overview, what Sentinel is all about, how does it work, uh, the high-level concept and uh, in this video uh, we'll look into that uh, some of the different uh, data connectors and the workbooks available in sentinel which i configured we'll look into that especially uh, when people are working from home and then you want to know if they are using office 365 or any application which is using your azure ad as a for authentication for sign in if you see some suspicious activity so we'll look into that uh, there are screen uh, so many templates available from Azure out of the box, Azure Sentinel. But the one I have configured is around eight of them. Last week I have, or the, not the last week, the previous video I've showed the one on signing logs on a high level. We'll dig into that more in our future videos. So idea is that about this video, I'm gonna keep it high level, kind of give you a look and feel and see what's the, there. So we were able to look into some of the sign-in uh, in the last three days and 14 days. So this time we'll look into that as an exchange online and see what's going on. I'm in my exchange online in the last 14 days. So let's go. Uh, workbook is there, data ingested from Office 365, just for your information, ingestion from Office 365 data to Microsoft Azure Sentinel is free. So if you have Microsoft Office 365, you sign up for the Azure Sentinel, and you ingest the data, the cost of the data is free. So basically you pay nothing. So once you configure all that stuff, your data connectors, and then you have this workbook. So I wanna try my, uh, this workbook and see what's going on in my Office 365 tenant or Exchange Online because I wanna see what's there. So we'll see if this is not available, as I said, We'll look into that. If the data is not available, it might have lost or the connector is not configured. So we can try another connector and see it was there. So we go in there and we'll try Office 365. And this will be giving us what I am looking for. Some of the data. So let's say, uh, let it refresh. And here again, uh, there is no data. So we'll go back. Is this time I am going to try um, Microsoft Azure Activity, or we can go to the audit logs. So we go there on the audit logs, and hopefully this time I'll be able to see some data from 90 days. There you go. The two last attempt didn't work, but here is some really interesting, amazing data. As you can see in the last 90 days, what's going on? in my tenant. So this is my production tenant. So I do not have 100,000 accounts. So it's not in millions. So it's just few accounts I have, uh, which is the production account basically. So data is meaningful here. Doesn't matter on the number. So if you look at on the dashboard, update user 184, STS token refresh, change password with self-service, policies, user change password, are there any disable accounts, enable accounts, update services? And if you keep going all the way down, you can see, and there is a success and failure. So I'm interested in the failure. Change password, self-service failed 10 times. So I'm not sure if I did it or when did it happen. But so if I need to be more meaningful, I can reduce it to 30 days or maybe seven days and then it will refresh the data as you can see on the fly which is coming from the log analytics which is the data we ingest so it's not pulling it directly from office 365 tenant it's pulling it from its uh, workspace the log analytics and then uh, we can select each individual user here and you can select different items and showing all the results, success, failure, however you want it to configure. And then once you do that, you can come to the more details 
and were there any PIM, privilege identity. So depending what level of subscription you have, what kind of features you have, and then you can literally have an uh, one dashboard with 360 degree view of your all services. So I'm just showing the Office 365 now. It can be anything. It can be your VM. It can be different products and services, even on your on-prem environment. So I hope it made sense to you. So in the next video, I'll fix my tenant for Office 365 and I'll be sharing more videos around that. So if you like it, do subscribe my channel and share this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you and do follow me on Twitter.